This week on Warehouse Hunts, we're going to take a look at the premium line of Gerber Gator knives. These USA-made fixed blades and folders are tough, high-quality knives designed to perform equally well in wet or dry conditions. The original Gator debuted in 1991 and was voted Blade Show's most innovative knife of the year for its revolutionary design and commendable functionality. In the nearly 25 years since, the Gator and its little brother, the Gator Mate, have continued to be some of the most popular and reliable American-made knives in Gerber's arsenal. The premium Gator line uses that legacy as a springboard and takes things to the next level with a top-notch build and ultra-stylish new look. As is Gator tradition, the handles are rubberized and just a bit tacky to enable a supremely certain grip. The handles on both the folders and the fixed blades are just a hair larger than before, making for a comfortable hold with a lot of room. There's a gentle overall curve on a super smooth index finger indent, so these feel really ergonomic. Blades get an upgrade this time around as well. Instead of the 420HC of previous models, these are CPM S30V stainless steel, which is going to be more resistant to corrosion and holds its edge better. The machine polished, semi mirrored finish gives these knives a much slicker aesthetic than their ancestors, especially on the fixed blades with the bolsters. Blade variety among the two fixed blades includes a standard drop point and a drop point with gut hook. On the folders, you're looking at a clip point and a clip point with gut hook. All of them are a solid four inches long. My team and I spend over a thousand man days a year in the field, and usually we're pretty successful. That requires a lot of skinning, gutting, and caping, which will take its toll on even the best of knives. Our proven and tested Outdoor Edge Razor Light is the knife that we go to each and every time for every one of these outings. The Razor Light is a full-size drop point folding hunting knife that comes with three and a half inch replaceable razor blades made of surgical grade Japanese 420 stainless steel. The rubberized TPR handle provides for an extremely ergonomic, non-slip grip. This tacky feeling handle material is ideal for hunting knives because it gives you something safely to hang on to even when the knife becomes wet with fat and blood while breaking down that trophy. The razor blades with this system are not only extremely sharp, but durable as well. The knife blades themselves are rigid and have additional support of the black oxide coated blade holder. This gives your razor blade performance with all the strength of a regular knife. Changing the blades with this knife is extremely safe and easy. The push of a button disengages the lock mechanism and the blade slides right out. This allows you to easily remove the old blades without having to use a multi-tool as with other types of replaceable blade knives. This gives me confidence that I don't need to worry about slipping and having that dirty and now dull surgical blade cutting you to the bone in the back country. Another thing I really like is the blaze orange handle which saves me time since I can always find my knife quickly when I set it down. Outdoor Edge took the Razor Lite to the next level when they launched the Razor Pro. It has the same great features we know and love with the Razor Lite, but also adds the gutting blade that we've got so used to now available on the Razor Pro. The signature cutting blade allows you to cut under the skin to open game up like a zipper from a caping standpoint is one of the finest blades you can ever use. The Razor Pro is truly the only tool you need to gut, cape, skin, and quarter any animal in North America. It comes with either a black handle with a black nylon sheath or a blaze orange handle and a mossy oak sheath. Each knife comes with six surgical 420 stainless steel razor blades and a quality nylon belt sheath. The razor blades are three and a half inches long and can be easily replaced with the push of a button. The new blade slides into the black oxide coated blade holder, which also provides added support for the blades. It doesn't require the use of a pair of pliers or multi-tool to safely replace the blades as do some of the competitor's products. A push of the button and you can safely remove the old blades and install a new one. The gutting blade is made of Japanese AUSH steel and will provide numerous guttings without the need for sharpening. The rubberized TPR handle provides a secure, non-slip grip even when wet. The entire knife weighs right at 3.6 ounces. The Outdoor Edge Razor Pro is truly the best knife on the market for someone like me who spends countless days a year in the field and field dresses lots of animals. And today, we're taking a look at the vital big game folder from Gerber. Have you guys ever been trying to skim your game and realize that your knife's just a little too dull? Let me show you why that's no longer a problem. What I have here is the answer to all your problems. In this tiny little pouch, you'll have everything you need to make sure that your knife is always sharp when you need it most. As you see here, the knife 
folds really nicely and compact into, into the handle itself. This is the best part. This is the answer to all your problems. This button right here. You'll notice when I press this button, when I press this button down here at the bottom of the blade, all I have to do is pull the blade right off. So if you have a dull blade, you just take it off, toss it into your waste container, don't leave it behind and don't throw it in your bag because you'll end up cutting yourself. And that's how easy it is to put it back in. This is the Buck 112 Ranger. So let's go over some specs about the 112 Ranger. So the 112 Ranger, it is 7.25 inches overall length. Closed, it is 4.25 inches. It is 5.9 ounce. The blade is three inches. Does have a finger clip there. It is a clip point, hollow grind, has a satin finish. Also, if this is the 420HC still with the Paul Balls heat treatment. What that does, it gives you the durability of the steel, but also holds the edge really well and easily sharpened. Because it has the Paul Balls heat treatment, it also has that corrosion resistance as well, which makes it a very good knife. You might not be in a place where you can keep your blade dry all the time. You might be on a wet hunting trip, so it might be wet the whole time. Now, when you get back, always do your blade maintenance. You know, wash it with soap and water, completely dry it, and put some oil, mineral oil, or something else on the blade before you put it in your sheath. It does have a 58 to 60 Rockwell hardness for the steel itself. Don't know if I covered it, but it's a 0.12 inch thick blade. Hey, I thank you for watching. 